Hello, my name is Laura. Welcome back to my channel. I've not posted on YouTube in a really long time, but I wanted to start making some vlogs, day in the life, week in the life videos because I want to document this journey that I'm going through at the moment. If you don't follow me on Instagram, you should. It'll be linked down below. I was recently diagnosed with stage 3B colon cancer. So I've had a full colectomy to remove my colon. I've uh, now got a stoma and I am also going through six months of Volfox chemotherapy. So I wanted to document this journey, not just for myself to be able to look back on, but for others who might be going through something similar or have a family member going through something similar. Um, and also just like, I'm a trainer and nutritionist, so my passion is, you know, fitness and a healthy lifestyle. So just all things health and wellness, bit of travel, bit of lifestyle, and yeah, you can come follow along. I'll Good morning, so it is Wednesday morning and it is only a few days till Christmas. I am feeling a lot better today because I had a full night of sleep. Usually I've been waking up at like four o'clock in the morning or waking up periodically all throughout the night with really bad heartburn. So I actually had a good night of sleep. I've got a coffee here last week, which was, if you know me well, really weird. I went off coffee. Your taste buds really change with chemo and I found that last week some things were just really grossing me out. Um, one of my nurses said that you might eat something and it just tastes like cardboard or sawdust. You just don't have any flavor. So I definitely noticed my taste buds changed last week, but they seem to be like normal this week. So um, having a coffee this morning, I've mainly been drinking decaf. Um, but today I'm going to wrap all my Christmas presents and we're going to do the big food Christmas shop for Christmas Day to make sure that we've got everything. Um, so yeah, we're also going to uh, the Capilano uh, Bridge tonight, the Capilano Bridge tonight. We're going to go look at the lights. So I'm really excited for that, doing a few little Christmassy things and yeah, it'll be a nice cozy day. So I just received some goodies from Vegano, which is a plant-based meal kit service, but they full, have this full um, marketplace filled with plant-based goodies as well. So I got some soup, which looks yum, some cold brew. I've tried this before, the blonde roast. That's pretty good. Uh, some tea. I'm not sure I'm the biggest fan of this kind of tea, but I know that Ty likes it. I got some chippies, some canoe cola, and some coconut black vinegar. Never tried that before. I might have to see what I could actually offer dressings and things. Nice. Must have like a similar taste to like coconut aminos. And then I've got some Kale Omania burger patties and they look like they're bound together with brown rice, which looks interesting. So keen to try those. our tree it looks a little bit sad because we took a lot of the decorations off because our cat was climbing the tree and ruining them all there's the culprit right now look she's at the base of the tree figuring out how to climb it
off to the supermarket to do the supermarket shop, planning to get some lunch along the way. Very uninspired on what to get for lunch. What are you thinking, Ty? Very uninspired also. Very uninspired. I'm looking, I'm looking. I don't feel like breakfast food. I feel like I want something hearty. So we just got back from the supermarket and we didn't end up stopping somewhere for lunch. So I'm just going to make some big veggie sandwiches, stack them with the veggies and some hummus and some balsamic glaze and that's what we're having for lunch. So we just got back from the lights and we ordered sushi for dinner. So we go to Good Sushi in Vancouver. It's definitely the best. We got a vegan chicken teriyaki roll, which is so good. It's kind of like a soy protein, really nice. Avocado and cucumber roll. They're always very generous on the avocado. And then Ty got a dynamite roll with prawn and yams. Yum. Good morning. It is the 23rd of December and I'm just about to do a little workout. We've got this spin bike here that friends of ours who own a studio and the cats and the handlebars have uh, lent us, which is really helpful because one of the side effects of my chemo is that I have extreme sensitivity to cold. So going outside or drinking cold water, you're not even allowed to reach into the fridge because you can get numbing of the uh, hands and the feet and also like laryngeal spasm where you can't breathe properly. It like, feels like you can't breathe properly. You can breathe, but that's what it feels like. Um, and so they said to avoid going outside in the cold during the actual chemo treatment. I found that the following week I haven't had the same symptoms or experienced any numbing. During the chemo I did, I felt it in like my fingertips, the side of my palm, and also like really felt like it was burning my face. Uh, so the bike's going to be really helpful, just means I can get some movement in without going outside. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to do a little bike ride and I'm going to watch... Uh, the every Thursday they release the new episode of Just Like That. I've seen such mixed reviews on um, the Sex in the City reboot. You have to tell me what you think. I'm, I don't know if I'm sold on it yet, but I'm still gonna keep watching it. So I've moved her a couple of times and she just jumps straight back from off the couch up onto here. So it looks like me and Gibby are going for a ride. <laughs> Look at her. We're just going to pick up some vegan cookies. Sophie's dog sitting. This is Jensen. He's the best boy. So here are the delicious cookies. These are from our friends as a Christmas gift. Um, and they're from the bakery to live for, which is Erin Island's uh, little baking company and everything's all plant-based. We've got peppermint chocolate cookies, I believe, rum balls, chocolate dipped shortbread, peppermint chocolate cookies, gingerbread. It looks so good. I'm very excited to eat these. So I just thought that I would end off the vlog The cat's playing with the coin. <laughs> cool. Anyway. Oh, she's being a wrecker. One moment. Anyway, so I thought that I would just finish off the vlog just by saying, um, I think the next vlog is going to be more about uh, the hard week. So like I mentioned earlier, there'll be a hard week and a good week. And my chemo is on Monday. Honestly, okay. This cat, she 
is sweet most of the time, but honestly, like lately, as she gets bigger, oh my gosh. Okay, I think she's done being a little wrecker. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, this uh, this vlog's more about the good week and what I've been doing this week, kind of packing it with fun Christmassy things and social things. Um, but next week will be my chemo treatment week. So it will be the more difficult week. Um, I've only had the chemo once, so I'm not sure what to expect uh, going into my second week. I have... Um, a couple of hours of oncology appointments tomorrow on Christmas Eve and um, I'm having a few people around on Christmas Eve. We're only allowed small bubbles at the moment due to further restrictions in BC so just having a couple of people around um, just to kind of like do something fun on Christmas Eve because that might be a little bit of a down buzz going to BC Cancer for a couple of hours. Um, so yeah, follow along for next vlog, please subscribe, um, yeah. See you all soon. What a time to be alive.